Verizon Communications. Is it the right investment at this time? Let's look at the company and their financials, and you decide. The name is synonymous with communication. It's a behemoth, a titan in the world of telecom. Millions rely on its network daily. From bustling city streets to quiet suburban homes, Verizon's reach is undeniable. But Verizon is more than just phone calls. It's a lifeline for businesses, connecting them globally. It empowers remote work, education, and entertainment. In our hyperconnected world, Verizon's role is pivotal. The company's impact extends beyond mere connectivity. It's a driver of innovation, pushing the boundaries of technology. Verizon's investments in 5G and fiber optics are shaping the future. They're laying the groundwork for a faster, more connected tomorrow. Verizon's core business is built on a foundation of wireless communication. They are the nation's largest wireless carrier, boasting millions of subscribers. But their offerings go far beyond traditional voice and text services. Data plans are a cornerstone of Verizon's revenue stream. The demand for mobile data is insatiable, driven by video streaming and social media. Verizon caters to this demand with a range of data packages. These plans provide the bandwidth for our data-hungry devices. Verizon has also ventured into the home entertainment market. Their Fios service offers bundled internet, television, and phone packages. This strategic move allows Verizon to tap into a lucrative market. It positions them as a one-stop shop for consumers' communication and entertainment needs. But Verizon's ambitions don't stop there. They are investing heavily in the Internet of Things, IoT. This burgeoning field encompasses everything from smart homes to connected cars. Verizon aims to be a leader in this space, connecting devices and enabling seamless communication. To understand Verizon's dominance, we must delve into its financials. Like a well-oiled machine, Verizon generates billions in revenue annually. Their financial statements paint a picture of a company operating at scale. One key metric is revenue. In recent years, Verizon has consistently generated over $130 billion in annual revenue. This staggering figure underscores the company's massive scale and market reach. It's a testament to their ability to attract and retain customers. Profitability is another crucial aspect of Verizon's financial health. They consistently report billions in net income each year. This profitability allows Verizon to reinvest in its network, develop new technologies, and reward shareholders. It's a sign of a company operating from a position of strength. However, it's essential to look beyond the headline numbers. We need to dissect the financial data to gain deeper insights. Metrics like price-to-earnings ratio, PE and book value can reveal a company's true value and growth potential. The PE ratio is a fundamental tool for investors. It tells us how much the market is willing to pay for every dollar of a company's earnings. A high PE ratio often indicates strong growth expectations. Verizon's PE ratio has fluctuated in recent years. As of November 2023, it hovers around 7. This relatively low figure suggests that investors are not pricing in significant growth for Verizon in the near future. It could indicate that the market perceives some risk or uncertainty surrounding the company. Several factors could contribute to Verizon's current P.E. ratio. The telecom industry is known for its intense competition. This can put pressure on pricing and profitability. Additionally, the high capital expenditures required for network upgrades can impact earnings growth. However, a low P.E. ratio doesn't necessarily mean a company is a bad investment. It could represent an undervalued opportunity. Value investors often seek companies with low P.E. ratios, believing the market has mispriced their potential. Book value provides another lens through which to view a company's financial health. It represents the net worth of a company if it were to liquidate all its assets and pay off all its debts. Essentially, it's what's left over for shareholders. Verizon's book value per share has remained relatively stable in recent years. This stability suggests that the company is managing its assets and liabilities effectively. It indicates a company with a solid financial foundation. The relationship between book value and stock price can be telling. If a company's stock price is significantly higher than its book value, it could indicate that the market is optimistic about its future earnings potential. Conversely, a stock price lower than book value could suggest undervaluation. However, it's crucial to remember that book value is just one piece of the puzzle. It shouldn't be the sole factor in investment decisions. 
It's essential to consider other factors such as earnings growth, industry trends, and management quality to form a comprehensive view. I don't think people understand the importance of tracking key financial ratios. To fully grasp Verizon's current financial standing, we must journey back in time. Examining historical data reveals long-term trends and provides context for present-day performance. Over the past decade, Verizon has demonstrated resilience in a rapidly evolving industry. While revenue growth has been modest, the company has consistently generated strong cash flows. This financial stability has allowed Verizon to invest in new technologies and reward shareholders through dividends. However, the telecom landscape is not without its challenges. Intense competition, evolving consumer preferences, and the constant need for network upgrades put pressure on profitability. Verizon has navigated these complexities with a focus on cost optimization and strategic acquisitions. By analyzing historical financial data, investors can gain insights into Verizon's ability to adapt to changing market dynamics. This retrospective analysis provides valuable context for assessing the company's future prospects. Currently, Verizon's P.E. are as follows. The current price-to-earnings ratio is 8.78, the average price-to-earnings ratio is 13.57, and the fair price-to-earnings ratio is 14.39, and current dividend yield is about 6.5%. Also, it has BBB Plus credit rating from Standard & Poor's along with 57.69% total long-term debt divided by total invested capital. If you would have had invested $10,000 in October 24, 2008, and held until June 7, 2024, your $10,000 market value would have went up to $17,470.17. Plus, you would have received dividends in the amount of $14,893.14. Hence, new market value plus dividends received would have equaled to about $32,000. $363.30. Verizon operates in a fiercely competitive industry. Rivals like AT&T and also T-Mobile are constantly vying for market share. This competitive pressure forces Verizon to remain agile and innovative to maintain its leadership position. Despite the competition, Verizon holds a commanding position in the U.S. wireless market. Their vast network infrastructure and reputation for reliability give them a significant advantage. They boast the largest subscriber base in the country, a testament to their brand recognition and customer loyalty. Verizon's market dominance is further strengthened by its strategic acquisitions. Their purchase of Yahoo and AOL, while met with initial skepticism, has bolstered their digital media and advertising capabilities. These acquisitions have diversified their revenue streams and positioned Verizon for future growth in emerging markets. However, resting on their laurels is not an option in the ever-evolving telecom landscape. Verizon must continue to adapt to changing consumer preferences, embrace new technologies, and fend off competition to maintain its market dominance. Despite its current dominance, Verizon faces significant challenges in the years ahead. The telecom industry is in constant flux, Driven by rapid technological advancements and evolving consumer demands, Verizon must navigate these challenges strategically to maintain its competitive edge. One major challenge is the increasing saturation of the U.S. wireless market. With most Americans already owning smartphones, acquiring new customers is becoming increasingly difficult. This saturation puts pressure on carriers to retain existing customers and find new avenues for revenue growth. Another challenge is the rapid pace of technological change. The rollout of 5G networks is just the beginning. Verizon must invest heavily in infrastructure upgrades to keep pace with these advancements. Failure to do so could result in losing ground to competitors with more advanced networks. Furthermore, the rise of over-the-top OTT services poses a threat to Verizon's traditional business model. Services like WhatsApp and Skype offer voice and video calling over the internet potentially cannibalizing Verizon's voice and messaging revenue streams. 
Verizon must adapt its offerings and pricing strategies to remain competitive in this evolving landscape. Recognizing the challenges ahead, Verizon is making strategic investments to secure its future. The company is focusing on key areas to drive growth and maintain its competitive advantage in the ever-evolving telecom landscape. One key area of investment is 5G network infrastructure. Verizon was among the first carriers to launch 5G services and they continue to expand their network coverage. They understand that 5G is not just an incremental upgrade but a transformative technology that will enable a wide range of new applications and services. In addition to 5G, Verizon is investing heavily in fiber optic infrastructure. Fiber optic cables offer significantly faster speeds and greater bandwidth compared to traditional copper lines. This investment will be crucial for supporting the increasing demand for data-intensive applications, such as streaming high-definition video and online gaming. Verizon is also exploring new revenue streams beyond traditional telecom services. They are leveraging their network infrastructure and technological expertise to expand into areas like mobile advertising, the Internet of Things (IoT), and telematics. These initiatives aim to diversify their revenue sources and tap into new growth markets. As we peer into the future of Verizon, one thing is clear. The company is at a crossroads. They face both significant challenges and exciting opportunities. Their ability to navigate this complex landscape will determine their long-term success. Verizon's vast network infrastructure, strong brand recognition, and loyal customer base provide a solid foundation for future growth. Their strategic investments in 5G, fiber optics, and new technologies position them to capitalize on emerging trends in the telecom industry. However, Verizon cannot afford to be complacent. They must continue to adapt to changing consumer preferences, fend off competition from both traditional rivals and new entrants, and manage the financial burden of network upgrades and technological advancements. The future of Verizon, like the telecom industry itself, is uncertain. However, one thing is for sure. Verizon will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of communication and connectivity. Their ability to innovate, adapt, and execute on their strategic vision will ultimately determine their fate. If you found this deep dive into Verizon insightful, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Your support helps us create more content like this. Thank you for watching.